everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we are doing my last BoxyCharm unboxing. Now I thought I canceled last month's, um, or after last month's, uh, but I forgot that you actually have to go into your email. So you cancel on the website and then you go into your email and cancel there too. <laughs> so it's like a two-step process and I forgot to do the second step. So I ended up getting this month. Um, I was not happy with last month's at all. Like I think I ended up putting every single thing um, aside for somebody else. So none of the products were for me and I just, I don't know, I just, they get later and later, like I have said in every BoxyCharm video. It's like I used to get them within the first week or two, and now I get them in within the last week or two of the month. So that kind of sucks because by then everybody and their mama has had <laughs> BoxyCharm unboxings. And even though I know some people would still want to see it, it just almost feels um, like it's so late in the game. People have already moved on to other things. Uh, but... I also feel like Ipsy has been knocking it out of the park. If you guys have watched my PR boxes, they're pretty good. But if you watch the Ipsy unboxings of the ones that I, I still purchase with my own money, those are even better than my PR boxes. So I will have those unboxings uh, down in the description box below. So without further ado, let's go ahead and unbox our last boxy charm. It is not permanent. I might start the subscription back up again, but uh, I think just for maybe a month or two, we're gonna take a tiny break. So the first item I see is from Man Man Manicotar Skincare. I'm so sorry if I murdered that. It is a hydration happy hydrating face mist. Now, when I do use face mist, I actually like the hydrating formula. I have extremely dry skin. So the thing about BoxyCharm is they always are so skincare heavy for me. But at the same time, I can't get mad because the skincare that they do send me, it literally does all fit my profile. So the hydrating, the wrinkles, the, you know, the anti-aging, they do give me the right categories. So it's like, I wish I had more makeup, but they still give me skincare, but it's all in the category that I need. I don't know. It's, uh, it's a love-hate relationship right now. <laughs> um, so this is known as one of the natural wonders of the world. The Dead Sea produces 12 minerals that are not found in any other sea or ocean. These ingredients, such as calcium, zinc, copper, magnesium, and potassium, are known for their ability to help soothe, cleanse, revitalize, and strengthen skin. I wonder what it smells like. I hope it smells good. I don't want to open it just yet because I won't need to decide if I'm going to put this in a giveaway or keep it. Um, but the next item is a mask, skincare. Uh, this is a brightening vitamin C mask from Frank Body. Now, I just went through like my skincare uh, drawer and it is way too full for me right now. So I'm going to go ahead and pass this along and put this in a giveaway. So this is what it looks like. I wonder, and it's got like a little pump there. So yeah, this is gonna go to a, uh, a happy subscriber. And I do have a giveaway filmed. I need to edit it and get that baby up. <laughs> Cause I wanted to start doing the, all those giveaways that I had. Um, okay, so the next item, once again, it's more skincare. Uh, this is from Coors. Okay, so this is actually a brand that I enjoy. Um, this is their Velvet Skin Drink. I'm assuming it's a moisturizer? Velvet Skin Drink. Replenish and Retexture. In Centaurini Grape. No, I'm never really good at opening these boxes anyway. Wow, that is a big bottle. Look at that. So it's like a, it's not a moisturizer. It's what it's like a, a serum, an oil. 
Apply to face and neck, avoiding the eye area. Transform your skin to velvet soft with a single drop of antioxidant rich grape hydration while smoothing out imperfections and awakening a no shine glow. Hmm. Okay. Um, I actually might keep this one. I don't really have anything like this in the drawer. So yeah, that's actually pretty interesting. I don't think I've seen anything like this. Let's give it a smell. Oh. Okay, so it doesn't smell bad. <laughs> That's a plus. I hate it if you get skincare and it smells really, really bad. Like, you don't even want to use it kind of bad. Okay, so the next item is... Looks like a palette. Aesthetica. A Contour Series Cream Palette. Okay. I'm not really a contour person. I, I kind of want to start dabbling in it. So this is actually... Um, pretty good that this is in here because I do believe that uh, creams are a little bit more easy to work with uh, when it comes to contouring <laughs> um, than palette than powders. But uh, so cool. So this comes with a little step by step instructions, uh, and then it has like a little face chart right there, and it shows you different ways that you can contour for different face shapes. Um, that's cool. I'm definitely keeping that for a little while. And then, ooh, okay. So it also, once again, it comes with like a little face inside, shows you where she contoured. And then this is the palette right here. So these are the different contouring shades. It kind of reminds me of like the ABH um, cream contour palette. That's what this reminds me of. I don't know, we'll give it a try. Um, I kind of want to contour like my cheekbones. I definitely have like a, <laughs> a round face. Uh, so I kind of want to slim that down right here. My toe, my nose isn't too bad. I kind of want to contour like maybe the tip of it. But um, other than that, I don't. A little bronzer and I'm good. <laughs> okay, so the next item is from The Perfect Duel. This is... Looks like a, a brush and a sponge. Okay, so we got a mini brush and a sponge. I can always use more sponges, so I'm never mad when I get a sponge. So definitely we'll be using this. And then, where's that brush at? This is what the brush looks like right here. I don't really use these brushes. I have plenty of them. So I'll probably just put this in a giveaway. Ooh, the bristles are really soft though. Uh, so yeah. Okay, so really quickly, let's go over the box. So we got the uh, Hydrating Mist, which is up my alley, something I would definitely use. We got the face mask, um, which like I said, I just have too much skincare. Most of that is because of BoxyCharm sending me so much skincare all the time. So that's going to go on to um, a giveaway. We got the little oil or serum or whatever this is. Uh, I'm going to give this a try. We got the bronzing palette, which I will use um, or try to use. <laughs> so that's kind of interesting. And then we got the little brush and sponge set. So, um, I mean, this box isn't bad. It definitely has items that um, are for my skin type, for me personally, that I would put on my profile. Um, it's just way more skincare heavy than I would prefer um you know if it has like maybe one or two skincare items I'm good with that but when it's the majority of skincare then I'm kind of like oh, you know I already have so much skincare in my drawer just let's change it up a little bit you know just change it up a little bit that's all I ask and BoxyCharm has not changed it up in in quite some time so we're going to just cancel for maybe a month or two, um, and then we'll come back, restart the, su the subscription again, and see how we do from there. So, uh, if you guys think I should do one month, and then just see, or do you guys think I should do two months, and then see, let me know down below uh, what you guys think. But that's it for this unboxing. Thank you guys so much for watching, and yeah, I will see you on the next video. Bye.